From AMC important update for Dogecoin and huge bullish divergence in its price to rising crypto adoption and all the latest data and updates, some exciting things are happening right now. So let's talk about it. So first of all, cryptos have continued moving sideways during the last 24 hours. And we are now seeing that this pattern has been continuing throughout this week. Bitcoin has remained range-bound around this 40k level, Ethereum is also stuck around 3k, and other altcoins, including Dogecoin, are also doing the same. Meanwhile, we can see here that the fear sentiment is still looming over the crypto market as investors have chosen to be on the sidelines during all this time. But the good thing is that the market has come out of the extreme fear sentiment as the crypto feeder and greed index is now sitting at 28 points. So while crypto prices are showing lack of any significant momentum, there is some positive news and important data for Doge, Bitcoin, and others. And it appears that crypto may get back on track in the following week. And now, let's come to this big news for Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coming from AMC. So just recently, AMC CEO Adam Aaron tweeted that the firm's mobile app now supports payments in both Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, alongside other cryptos. The support comes via integration with crypto payments provider BitPay, and users can spend Doge and Shiba on tickets, concessions, and gift cards alike. AMC implemented both coins to its website in March via its partnership with BitPay, and Aaron tweeted that they would reach the mobile app by April 16 at the latest. Meanwhile, Aaron's tweet about mobile support, much like his previous tweets about Doge and Sheeb, has already racked up thousands of interactions. Now, we know that AMC Embrace of Crypto began in August 2021, when Aaron announced that the firm planned to accept Bitcoin payments by the end of the year. Gradually, that list expanded to include coins like Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash, with social media fan campaigns eventually convincing the firm to add Dogecoin and Shiba Inu to its plans. AMC began accepting Dogecoin payments online solely for gift cards in October. So this is massive news for Doge and Shiba since AMC is a major firm with a huge number of customers and this is going to surge their adoption. And now, let's come to Dogecoin's current price movements and predictions. So Doge is currently trading above the 14 cents price level with some modest gains achieved the other day. The recent price action tilts in the favor of bulls and indicates another uptrend might be round the corner as the bulls have completed a bullish setup. So we are now seeing that the price of Dogecoin has printed gains for the fourth session in a row. The price has the potential to jump 30% from here as it harbors a crucial support level. Meanwhile, it is also trading above its crucial moving averages, including the 20-day simple moving average and 50-day exponential moving average. Moreover, it has completed a rounded bottom formation that begins on February 11. The price shoots up 16% in a single day on April 5, followed by the steepest single day decline at 14 cents and after harboring the support of around 13 cents, the bulls again face the upside resistance barrier near the 14 cents level. As we can see here on this daily Dogecoin chart, the above average volume with the rise in price signaled the bullish undercurrent. However, the bullish setup suggests a 30% jump in the price from the current levels. After tagging the highs around 18 cents, the price retraced 27% to the lower level but bounced back immediately. So now, a resurgence in the buying pressure would first be the first upside hurdle at the horizontal resistance level at 16 cents, followed by the 200-day exponential moving average at 17 cents. In total, it is now expected that the price of Dogecoin would see a surge of 30% from the current levels. And with that being said, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So following its 2022 peak of 49 k in late March, Bitcoin has since seen a consistent downslide, leaving investors ambivalent about its next stop. As of now, Bitcoin has been trading just over the 40 k level, and it has been stuck here for some days. Meanwhile, its technicals are giving mixed signals, and it appears that Bitcoin is now in a make-or-break situation. However, in what appears to be a market of mixed signals, the majority of investors believe that Bitcoin is showing long-term bullish signs. Following a detailed analysis of Bitcoin, 72% of a total of 25 investors believe Bitcoin shows bullish signs, according to a poll on crypto analytics platform CryptoQuant. When it comes to supply and demand, CryptoQuant notes that while Bitcoin reserves have increased in recent months, they are still at a 2.5-year low.
A close examination of a chart provided by the analytics platform reveals a slight decrease in Bitcoin reserves across all exchanges from the 2.41 million peak in January of this year. Similarly, in the past 24 hours, more than 25k Bitcoins have been moved off from exchanges. The move is the largest outflow in five weeks, according to sentiment data. Liquidity on the crypto market falls as more currencies leave exchanges, putting more significant pressure on the market and increasing volatility. Even though the negative net flow isn't always linked to accumulation, it's still a good element for an asset's value because it reduces supply. So this is a bullish thing for Bitcoin since the balance of Bitcoin on centralized exchanges often represents the sentiment of traders. These large outflows of Bitcoin hint at an accumulation trend among investors. In the past, large quantities of Bitcoin moving off exchanges have led to price increases, providing a few days for the pattern to hold. Now, we are seeing that the Bitcoin price action between January 22 and March 15 has made three higher highs and two higher lows, and when these are connected with trend lines, the outcome shows an ascending parallel channel formation. Bitcoin is set to have a bull rally towards 46K if the price bounces off 203-day simple moving average activating a full-blown reversal. It will also see Bitcoin's price surpassing the 50-day, 100-day simple moving averages. And if the bullish cycle continues, the Bitcoin pressure could also revisit the 48K level. Moving on, we are now seeing that macro bureau Lynn Alden says that a new economic variable is making it more difficult to predict the price of Bitcoin over the next six months. Alden says that the near-term outlook of Bitcoin is unclear because of stagflation, an economic phenomenon that happens as a result of high inflation and high unemployment. He believes what's new is that Bitcoin has never really encountered a stagflationary environment in major developed markets, so that's a whole new variable. Despite the uncertainty, the macro analyst says that Bitcoin is still a better investment compared with other assets. He says that he will certainly rather own Bitcoin than some of these companies that have tons of supply chain exposure, margin pressure, things like that. And Alden says that Bitcoin will remain due to its strong fundamentals. And now, let's come to Ethereum for a minute. So we know that the most anticipated Ethereum merge is going to be launched this year. And crypto researcher and reviewer Max Matter expressed his views on the pros and cons of the merge. He added that Ethereum might enjoy a boost in price, but claimed that gas fees wouldn't vanish. He pointed out that these fees would instead go to stakers rather than miners after the merge. For this reason, Maher believed that the best way to profit from the merge was to become an Ethereum 2 staker or by simply holding. And now, let's come to Ethereum's price. So Ethereum has managed to regain the crucial 3K support after falling below in recent days. So far, the price action has largely consolidated above 3K. The good thing is that ETH has now crossed over its 50-day simple moving average and more gains are expected to follow from here. So we can expect the price action to steady at slightly above 3K. Once this happens, Ethereum will likely break above 3.2K and eventually, the coin will retest its 100-day simple moving average of around 3.6K in the days ahead. And now, let's come to some important crypto updates. So from New York City Mayor Eric Adams to Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, the idea of getting paid with cryptocurrency has made its way into the headlines. And a recent survey suggests interest in the notion could be spreading, with more than a third of workers surveyed saying they'd like some of their paycheck to be delivered in crypto. The study found that 36% of 1,600 HR leaders and employees surveyed wanted to receive part or all of their paycheck in crypto. Also, 42% of respondents wanted to receive NFTs as a performance reward. So this is positive news and it means that cryptos are now given a more serious look by the mainstream. Moving on, we are now seeing that BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, has acquired a taste for crypto and is digging deep into its pockets to do so. The firm has been making some significant investments in the crypto space. In addition to its strategic corporate investment and role as the primary asset manager of USDC Cash Reserves, BlackRock has entered into a broader strategic partnership with Circle. So this is another huge news as major firms are now interested in crypto investments. And as per another update, popular asset manager Fidelity Investments recently announced the launch of two ETFs related to the crypto and metaverse industry.
The two thematic ETFs will list on NASDAQ on April 21. The former ETF will invest at least 80% of its assets, portfolio and companies involved in the broader crypto ecosystem, including trading, mining, payment processing, and more. Similarly, the Fidelity Metaverse ETF will use at least 80% of the funds in Metaverse-related development, manufacturing, distribution, product sales, and related activities. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we have just seen some very positive updates for it and its price has also made a bullish formation. So it is now expected that Doge is going to move to the upside pretty soon. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below.